हेलो लर्नर्स आई एम डॉक्टर सुबोध के शर्वानी वर्किंग विद इंदिरा गांधी नेशनल ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी इन स्कूल ऑफ मैनेजमेंट स्टडीज द टॉपिक विच आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक टुडे इज पार्ट ऑफ अवर प्रोग्राम कॉल एम सी ओ थ्री रिसर्च मेथोलॉजी इन स्टैटिकल एनालिसिस एंड वी आर हियर इन द वर्ज ऑफ फोर्थ ब्लॉक विच मोर फोकस ऑन द ट्रेंड एनालिसिस एंड दैट टू यू नो टॉकिंग मोर अबाउट द प्रॉबिलिटी एंड प्रॉबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एज ए होल सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी यू नो टू थॉट प्रोवोकिंग सेशंस विच वॉज फोकस ऑन द प्रॉबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन and you know the cut in reserve to probability distribution and then you know the type of probability distribution one which was more talking about you know the discrete probability distribution so again you know this particular session is talking about you know types of probability distribution two which is known as continuous probability distribution and if you go into the backdrop you will find out that discrete probability distribution was focusing more on the binomial poisson and hypergeometric whereas continuous probability distribution is more emphasize on normal uniform and exponential so as far as probability distribution is concerned both this uh types are quite important uh, somewhere you know when we get an opportunity to use the discrete probability distribution and uh, somewhere else we have we are going to talk more about the continuous probability distribution so let's recapitulate in a more faster mode as far as the discrete random variable is concerned it can assume a finite countable number of values with a break between successive values of the variable where x is equal to 0 x is equal to 1 x is equal to 2 consider the number of televisions in a household x is equal to 0 x is equal to 1 x is equal to 2 x is equal to 3 x is equal to 4 and so forth so it possible for a discrete variable to have the value 2.45 and it is impossible for a household to have 2.45 television sets which is an example so this is why we call the discrete random variable so now you know taking into consideration we are more emphasizing on the types of probability distribution two that is continuous probability distribution there are many different classifications of probability distributions some of them include the normal distribution chi square distribution binomial distribution and poisson distribution the different probability distributions serve different purposes different data generation process so here in this particular session we are more talking about you know the continuous probability distribution also and we have to remember that there are different types of quantitative variables called discrete or continuous and what is the difference between discrete and continuous discrete data can only take on particular values in a range continuous data can take on any value in a range so discrete data usually arise from counting while continuous data usually arise from measuring so this is a big difference between the two and how tall is the plant if we take one example i think how tall is the plant given a new fertilizer this is called continuous because this is something you are going to measure so discrete data usually arise from counting while continuous data usually arise from measuring this we have already talked about and if we go more into the backdrop of continuous probability distribution in a continuous probability distribution the variable of interest may take on any values within a given range suppose we are planning to release water for hydro power generation depending on how much water we have in the reservoir whether it is above or below the normal level we decide on the amount and time of release the variable indicating the difference between the actual reservoir level and the normal level can take positive or negative values integer or otherwise moreover this value is contingent upon the inflow to the reservoir which in turn is uncertain this type of random variable which can take an infinite number of values is called a continuous random variable and the probability distribution of such variable is called a continuous probability distribution so characteristics of continuous probability the probability that continue continues random variable x will assume a value between two possible values x is equal to a and x is equal to b of the variable is equal to the area under the density curve between the values of x is equal to a and x is equal to b the total area or probability under the density curve is equal to 1 the probability that continues random variable x will assume a value between any two possible values where x is equal to a and x is equal to b of the variable is between 0 and 1 so what i mean to say that uh, if you talk more if we go more to the backdrop of distribution of probability distribution i think the pictorial presentation of all these probability distribution is available on our screen and it is going to be explained with the help of that if we talk about the normal it does the shape could be like this if we talk about binomial the shape will be like this if we talk about uniform the shape will be like it where we find that all the curves you know in the, is in in the same structure in the same lines either it could be horizontal in nature or vertical in nature whereas we find out in binomial there is a 
uh, there is a uh, ups and down but still you know the uh, uh, you find out the difference is there so normal curves is, is a simple curve where you start with the uh, zero point and then you know go upward and then come downward so anyway we are going to talk more about these types of distribution with the help of some good examples because when we talk about you know types of distribution number of trials if you are going to talk about binomial how many success in trials is fixed if you talk about the poison good for um, uh, more events that is large n small p unknown it is random variable and potentially infinite so hypergeometric if we talk about you know use for all population without replacement so what we mean to say that uh, as far as the prob types of distribution is concerned probability is concerned i think with or without replacement example are there there are certain examples are there so there are few key difference between the binomial poisson and hypergeometric distribution which we have already covered in our discrete uh, model these distribution are used in data science where there are dictomas variables like yes or no pass fail the one picture sums up the major difference so if we more go more into the depth of this continuous probability distribution i think it is going to be bifurcated in 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 terms of three that is uniform probability distribution normal probability distribution and exponential probability distribution so we start with a continuous distribution a continuous distribution variable can assume any value in an interval on the real time line or in a collection of intervals it is not possible to talk about the probability of the random variable assuming a particular value instead we talk about the probability of the random variable assuming a value with a given interval so the probability of the random variable assuming a value with some given interval from x1 to x2 is defined to be the area under the graph of the probability density function between x1 and x2 and if we if we see this uh, figure with respect to that i think the nature of the uniform figure could be like this the normal figure would be in a bell shaped and exponential figure could be in a exponential manner so so if we start with the with the first probability distribution of as far as the type of continuous probability distribution is concerned is the normal probability distribution and normal probability distribution is a distribution that represents the value of a continuous variable if a continuous variable is said to be approximately normal then the normal distribution can be used to model the continuous variable and there are certain examples of distribution that can be modeled or approximated by the normal distribution including iq scores of the individuals adult weights blood pressure of men and women tire wear the size of the red blood cells and the time required to get to work the importance of normal distribution is that it serves as a good model in approximating many distributions of real world phenomena so if a variable is approximately normal we can use mathematics to make predictions about the population regarding that variable so the normal probability distribution is a most important distribution for describing a continuous random variable it is widely used in statistical inferences it has been used in wide variety of application including heights of people rainfall amount test score scientific measurement and you know abraham de mauvere a french mathematician published the doctrine of chances in 1733 and he derived the normal distribution as 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 a, as a you know uh, as a function which is quite you know useful so if you talk about the formula of of normal distribution it is fx is equal to 1 uh, sigma and uh, square roots of 2 pi and e to the power x minus mu whole square divided by 2 sigma square so mu is a mean sigma is standard deviation pi is 3.14159 and e is 2.71828 so there are certain characteristics of normal distribution the distribution is symmetric its uh, skewness measure is zero and the entire family of normal probability distribution defined by mean mu and its standard deviation sigma so if we if you see this particular image it will be look like this so the highest point on the normal curve is at the mean which is also the median and mode so there are certain mode characteristics the mean can be any numerical value negative 0 or positive and the standard deviation determines the width of the curve larger value results in wider flatter curves so uh, you see sigma equals 15 the the bell shape curve looks like this and if you if the sigma is 25 the bell shape curve looks like this so probability for the normal random variable are given by areas under the curve the total area under the curve is 1 0.5 to the left of the mean and 0.5 to the right 
So, uh, 68.26 percentage of values of normal random variable are within plus uh, and minus 1 standard deviation of its mean and 95.4 percent of values of normal random variable are within plus to minus 2 standard deviation of its mean. So, 99.72 percent of the values of a normal random variable are within plus 2 minus 3 standard deviation of its mean. So, there are certain characteristics basis of empirical value if you see if we are going to plot I think the figure would be looks like this. So, a random variable having a normal distribution with a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1 is said to have a standard normal probability distribution and the letter z is used to designate the standard normal random variable. So, if you see uh, that if we plot the sigma is coming 1. So, probability distribution random variable is looks like this and if you talk about the formula, the formula is 1 divided by sigma in square roots we have 2 pi and then e to the power minus 1 by 2 and uh, square of x minus mu upon sigma square. So, if we are going to calculate this I think this could be the way normal distribution for different values of mu is there. So, normal distribution for different values of sigma is if mu is equal to 1 it is look like this. So, sigma is equal to 0.1 the shape is this, sigma is equal to 0.3 the shape is this, if sigma is equal to 0.2 the shape is this. So, three normal distribution with different areas are are you know mentioned by this. If 68 percent is this we can have a figure like this, if 95.4 the figure is like this and 99.7 the figure is like this. So, three normal distribution with three different. So, what makes normal distribution a probability distribution? This is a question which need to be answered. Normal distribution also known as Gaussian distribution is a probability distribution that is symmetric about the mean showing that data near the mean are more frequent in occurrence than that for uh, that uh, than data far from the mean in graph form normal distribution will appear as a bell curve. And now the second is known as a uniform probability distribution in statistics type of probability distribution in which all outcomes are equal likely. A coin also has a uniform distribution because the probability of getting either heads or tails in a coin toss is the same. So, a random variable x is said to have a continuous uniform distribution over an interval alpha beta if its probability density function is constant k over entire range of x. So, probability density function f x is equal to k where alpha is uh, less than uh, x less than beta if the value is coming 0 otherwise. So, how do you find the probability of uniform distribution? The general formula for the probability den density function for the uniform distribution is f x is equal to 1 divided by b minus a for a is less than or equal to x and less than or equal to b. So, a is the location parameter, the location parameter tells you where the center of the graph is and b is the scale parameter. The scale parameter stretches the graph out on the horizontal axis. So, if we go more into the depth of this uniform probability distribution, a random variable is uniformly distributed whenever the probability is proportional to the interval's length. The uniform probability density function is, is quoted by f x is equal to 1 by 1 upon b minus a for a is less than or equal to x less than or equal to b elsewhere and a is the smallest value of variable can assume and b is the largest value the variable can assume. So, uh, the most likely variable to have a uniform probability distribution is option C, the random variable which records the number between 0 and 1 generated by a random number generator because the number generated by the random number generator are equally likely that is the same probability for each number produced. So, uniform probability distribution if we talk in terms of expected value of x where E x is denoted by the expected value of x and equals to a plus b divided by 2 variance of x is quoted by variance v a r x and, and is equal to b minus a whole square divided by 12. So, exponential probability distribution if we more talk about the exponential probability distribution is useful in describing the time it takes to complete a task. The exponential random variables can be used to describe time between vehicle arrival at a toll booth, time required to complete a questionnaire, distance between major defects in a highway. In waiting line application the exponential distribution is often used for service times. A property of the exponential distribution is that the mean and standard deviation are equal. The exponential distribution is skewed to the right, its skewness measure is 2. 
So if we see the density function, I think the formula is fx equals to 1 by mu e to the power x upon mu for x is greater than or equal to 0 and mu is the expected of mean and uh, this exponential value is 2.71828. So cumulative probabilities if you are going to talk about where p is is quoted by x uh, great less than or equal to x0 equals to 1 minus e minus x0 upon mu and x0 equal to some specific value of x. So continuous variable model if we are going to plot in through this exponential distribution and taking x axis time till the first fatal accident and probability is at the y axis and then we are going to plot the probability of the first fatal at time t equals to quoted by k e to the power minus tk and the figure would be looks like this. So it is uh, starting from you know left to right in a downward direction. So thank you very much. Thank you.